got some major breaking news as it looks like Matt DiBenedetto might have a ride for 2024. What's going on guys, it's Daniel and welcome back to the video. As I just said a second ago, it looks like Matt DiBenedetto might have a seat for 2024 as according to Steven Sump from Front Stretch and Matt DiBenedetto himself, it sounds like Matt DiBenedetto is going to be joining a new NASCAR Xfinity Series team in 2024. According to Steven Sump, Matt Benedetto is joining Viking Motorsports for multiple Xfinity Series races. Matt Benedetto will drive Viking Motorsports number 38 NASCAR Xfinity Series car for at least five races, starting in Richmond Raceway on March 30th. The Benedetto and Don Sackett, the owner of Viking and CEO of Psyaps Incorporated, confirms the front stretch. Richmond will mark DiBenedetto's first taste of NASCAR racing in 2024 as he begins a season on the sidelines and without a ride. It will also mark his first start in the Xfinity Series since 2019. After starting 2024 with no ride, it has been an interesting test of fate, DiBenedetto tells Front Stretch. Although I have some business and things outside of racing, it doesn't fill the void of racing in NASCAR. This opportunity of Viking in the number 38 team not only excites the heck out of me for the sake of getting back behind the wheel, but also because I can sense the passion and commitment to the sport from Don and the whole group. I'm an all kind of guy, so I instantly click with Don and the team, and I look forward to helping build a team and relationship for the future. The news come after number 38 fielded in collaboration RSS Racing, failed to qualify for two of the first four races of the season with the number 38. We started the season with CJ, but he had trouble qualifying two of the four races, so we had to make a change, Sackett said, and it turns out that Matt DiBenedetto was available, and we called him up. We wanted to get him back into racing. He didn't have anything lined up, so we decided to try to work together the rest of the season with him. Sackett says a plan for the number 38 team is to run a majority of the remaining 29 races of the Xfinity schedule. This so, huge story here. They said the hope is for DeBeno to run all of those races, but at the moment he has an agreement to run at least the next five ovals on the schedule. He confirms that of the five races... Five races they have currently planned are Richmond, Martinsville, Texas, Talladega, and Dover. And they are trying to run a majority of the races as well for the rest of the season. And also, PSYOPs will continue working with RSS as well. This is a really, really huge deal for Matt the Benedetto, and really good to see that he does have a ride for 2024. Obviously, last year, Matt the Benedetto drove for Lack of World Racing on a full time basis in 2023 and 2022 and put up some really solid results. Remember, he won a Talladega back in the 2022 season. And also in 2023, while he did not score a victory, he had 11 or 12 top 10s, I think it was, which is up there on some of the highest number of top 10s for the Truck Series last year. And also, Matt the Benedetto did make the playoffs, which is really impressive. But when it was announced he wasn't returning to Rack or Racing to go after some opportunities, it was unfortunate that he was not able to find right at the start of the season. He had gotten really close to having a ride with Call of Racing in the Cup Series this year, but unfortunately, the sponsorship that he had for the season sadly fell through. And now you have Psyops, who I believe is still going to be working with RSS Racing this season, now working with Matt Benedetto, and I'm really excited about this. I wonder if he, they will have a partnership with Stuart Haas Racing, Cameron Remember if the details, and I'll have to go through the, the article to kind of see if they are going to be working with SHR this year, but they are working with SHR. Man, this gives me a little bit of hope because I'm not sure how they're going to perform because they are going to have to qualify their way into races. But if you're going to look for someone to get your team up and running, Matt Benedetto is definitely that guy. He is a very talented race car driver. Yes, he had made a lot of mistakes on the racetrack, granted. But I think he's a good enough race car driver where I do believe he deserves this chance and opportunity. Now, what are the expectations? Again, we have to be pretty realistic. But if he's able to make the races and if they have a good car, I wouldn't be surprised or shocked. Matt Benedetto gets some top 25s and some top 20s. And he joins a really good level of talent in the Xfinity Series this year. Eric Almirola is back in the series. You've got Haley Deegan full-time. Frankie Mead is in select starts this year. Sammy Smith over at Junior Motorsports off to a great start. Chandler Smith and Joe Gibbs Racing off to a very, very good start. You have a lot of really great talent and a lot of amazing drivers over there in the Xfinity Series this year. And in a nutshell, it's cool to see that Matt Benedetto is going to be part of the series this year. I wonder what he'd be doing because I know Matt Benedetto had planning to be running part-time. And the goal is hopefully for them to run a majority of the rest of the season in 2024, maybe outside of the road courses. But hey, if they can run all the road courses, we know how good of a driver he is on road courses. So certainly, I think he would do could do a really good job. So again, I'm really happy for Matt Benedetto. I'm glad to see he gets a chance and opportunity. Now, 
now. Just don't make any mistakes. Be careful what you post on social media, Matty D, because while I do like you a lot, you've had a very big tendency over the years to be kind of not great when it comes to posting on social media. So be careful what you post on social media. But again, I am excited for him. I'm glad to see that he's getting the opportunity to be with the team this year and glad to see he gets an opportunity to drive a few races with Viking Motorsports this season. Glad to see that he'll be working with this team in 2024. So, that is going for today's special breaking news report. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, notifications on, so if I win a video, that does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support on Patreon as well. Link in the description below that, and comment with your thoughts below on today's episode. How well do you think Matt Benedetto is going to perform with this new organization? Let me your thoughts in the comments below. Later today on the channel, I have the NASCAR Xfinity Series race picks for Circuit of the Americas. Tomorrow on the channel, I'm having the NASCAR Cup Series race picks for Cardinal and also the Paint Scheme video. Then on Friday, I have more updates on the Matt Benedetto situation and a couple other stories dropping as well. We'll have some SVG content dropping as well. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.